We are off on a cyclocross adventure. The bike is ready, new wheels on, thanks to the sponsor, aka Dad. It is safe to say me and the rocket do not pack light for one night away. That is ridiculous. Are you excited, Rocket? Yeah, I'm woo, can I get a woo woo? <laughs> And just like that, we are in Derby, home of the Rolls Royce and birthplace of the guy that invented the hot dog. Don't fact check me on that though, because the rocket has whipped them facts out for me on the way up here. But we're at Derby for round one of the National Cyclocross Trophy. And this, my race is actually, mine and Ben's race is actually tomorrow. So this will be my first UCI race of the year. And Ben's, I think this might even be Ben's first ever UCI race. I'm not sure, but the course looks absolutely mega, like twisting up and down banks. There's hurdles, there's bridges. This is going to be class. And some good news, British Cycling have given me permission to run the cameras at the National Trophy Series. So you're going to get to see what this course is like and you're also going to get to see a cyclocross race from the back <laughs> i'm putting zero expectations or anything on tomorrow because when i done national champs last year i got my backside handed to me and i said to the rocket after that i was like I am never doing that again. But then before this year, I was like, no, you've got to go out your comfort zone. So this is me well and truly out of my comfort zone and ready to get destroyed. I am gridded 33 of 80. God knows how I got that far up, but I'm going to take it. But the goal tomorrow is give it the berries, give it 100% and just see what happens. We're going to see how the under 16s do it in a second and also have a little look around the course. Forts Rocket on the course there's a pizza stand there's a pizza stand there you are. there's the forts on the course with a rocket so the youth riders have just started and fourth actually have a rider in this race adam's racing we're going to get to see how it's actually done all these little corners here are all off camber this looks absolutely wicked this course i think me and the rocket are looking the wrong way yep me and the rocket are looking the wrong way these boys are shifting in. Look at this, Peter Carpenter's got a big lead. He, ben used to race against him. Strong start that. And Oscar, Amy, Alfie's younger brother. Absolute beast. Go on, Mac. Go on, Adam. Let's go. Look at this, it runs in the family. Alfie and Oscar, both animals. Well done, Oscar. Oh, they look, those corners look slippy. Go on, Mac. Nice, Adam. Oh, this, this corner's carnage. Lucky oh, hands, oh, really. Very, very stylish. Nice one, boys. Peter Carpenter there. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I've got all the tricks, Sarah. I've never seen you do one. <laughs> Have you actually ever done one? Done a trick? Yeah, look, watch. Oh, that's what I'll be like. The, roll, the roller trick. Oh, he's got a fair old lead now. Go on, Adam. Go with him. Go with him. Stay on it, Adam. Good lad. So we are here with the boss man. We've just watched the youth race. Oscar Amy won. That's Alfie's younger brother. I mean, the old man's breeding animals, isn't he? He's Do you reckon he'll right. look, look, Alex, will you adopt me? <laughs> Take me in as one. <laughs> what do you reckon, Dad? Dad's just like, it's going to be fast and furious. What have I let myself in for? Uh, Any advice to well, survive? If there's any adoption, then I'm quite happy to go to be adopted as well. <laughs> We're all going. <laughs>
yeah. or do you think of the course looks absolutely brutal yeah it's pretty well, it's pretty standard of what it normally is um pete carpenter slipped out on the he had the lead on the first lap and he slipped out and then oscar made a couple of little slips as well so there is a few slippy corners there so you've got to yeah. be okay i think you just cannot take your eye off the course i think relax and and you'll be off and uh that's what will happen to me. I mean, I slid out round Reading and it was, wasn't as off camber as some of them corners. I'm going to have a nightmare. Yeah, but it's in full, it's in full public view, isn't it, of the pits. <laughs> the entire pits can see, can't they, this? Here he is, the wonder kid, the favourite son. <laughs> How are you feeling? Ready for tomorrow? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. No more, please. No, no more. more. <laughs> no more interviews. No more interviews. We'll get top 15. Top 15? Yeah. Woo! Where, what number are you gridded? 30 36. 36. 38. 36. 36. I've already been told by someone that he's gridded 36. See? Got my inside so, so. knowledge. Yep. <laughs> Got some making up to do because is this is your first UCI cyclocross yeah. race. I was right. So top 15 is the target. Not for me. For Ben. That is Saturday's excitement done and it is my turn tomorrow and boy oh boy have I got a treat for this special lady tonight. We are in the five star establishment that is the Premier Inn. What a treat for the lovely lady and I'd say it was my treat but you know that's the perks of being married with the joint account. So technically we've both paid for our Premier Inn to come and race cyclocross. Rocket's just checking out her surroundings and here is our humble abode for the evening. This is where the magic happens and this is where More magic we, happens. <laughs> well, this is where we fuel like athletes, sort of, for tomorrow. <laughs> but carb up, carb up, yeah, like the rocket said. But super excited for tomorrow. It's gonna to be my first national trophy race and the course looks mega. It's like a step up, like the standard of riders is just gonna be like through the roof and the course looks epic like got off cambers bridges hurdles looks mega it's going to be tough i'm gonna put it out there my preparation for this has been bleak i haven't been well this week i'm getting my excuses in now i haven't ridden my bike since wednesday because i haven't been well so i'm hoping just to go out there have fun give it the berries and survive rocket any any input You'll get a great night's sleep at Premier Inn. You'll get a great night's sleep Isn't at Premier And you'll eat like a champion. Just keeping it nice and healthy today. Nice clean dinner. Because what if we eat earlier, Rocket? We had. We stopped at Warwick on the... Was it Warwick? Warwick, as they say. Warwick on the way. And there was cakes galore. Cakes got eaten, that is for sure. So I'm just... I'm obviously not just going to eat that. But... Tell you, look at us prepared. I said to the rocket, do you not want to stay in Trisha the Transit tonight? She said, not a bloody chance. It's October. It's no, too cold. You. What? You never sleep well when we're in the van and you no. need a good night's sleep. <coughs> when past that. I don't. I get, get scared when I'm in the van. Someone might take me. Because if they've, if they've got a pick between me and the rocket, they're probably going to take me, not her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at this. This is a better setup than what we had for breakfast. The wife's not happy. The chef at Premier Inn pulled a sickie, didn't oh, turn no. up, so she couldn't have her full English breakfast. She oh, is no. not happy. <laughs> <laughs> so we are sent, look, Dad's got a better setup than we had in the Premier Inn. But it's race time. Me and Ben are going to go and do a practice lap now, and then he's off at 10. What is the time? Oh, it's only like an hour and a half till he's off. So he needs to scoff all that down. It is almost go time for Ben, and the course is slippy as. For me anyway, Ben was dropping me on the off canvas. I was having a nightmare. Let me see myself before you start filming. I'm putting this in the video. <laughs> no, you're not. Here we go then. Ben's about to get underway in a second. And these lads are on another level. They are lean, mean, fighting, racing machines. Not like myself. I've done a practice lap and I was struggling. People going past me, I thought it was a race. It it is slippy it's hopefully going to dry out for me though but they're going to be getting underway in a second down the start straight down there full gas we i'm probably going to step back a bit oh but they are all flipping eh? yeah yeah this is um jesus christ where is it go on ben go on 
Holy cow. Full gas. Yes, lad, yes, lad, get on that little groove. Go on. Come on, one little effort to get in that group. Come on, Ben. Come on. These boys are shifting. This group of four absolute monsters. It's crazy. Not at any point do I go that fast in a bike race. Well, Dig in now with these boys. Dig in. Here he is, one of today's opponents. Do not look at him. Do not speak to him. He'll probably try and take me out later. Or I'll probably try and take him out. <laughs> Look at the speed of them. Go on, Ollie. Come on, Alfie, get over to that group. Come on. Keep working now, don't give up, don't give up. Come on. He's not looking good, he's not firing, something's not right. But the boys at the front are just <laughs> shit. These kids are seriously shifting. Ben's come off, he's not well. I was like, I said to dad, I phoned dad, I was like, you've got to pull him off. He was like coughing going around. The whole family are absolute sick notes this weekend. So it was the right thing to do. He was looking a bit worse for wear, wasn't he? It was horrible to watch when you know, like someone's way better than how they're doing. Well done, Ollie. Well done, Ollie. Come on, Alfie, you can get him. Come on. Fair play. What was he like? 36th on the grid. 36th. No, yeah. He was like fifth row. He's come through. And oh no. It's going to be a battle this. Come on, Alfie. Come on, Alfie. Come on, Look at this athlete just fueling up, ready for the first UCI race of the season. I am absolutely hacking my pants. I am so nervous. So 
me and the rocket are gonna get through some of these. <laughs> Just have a bicky. Yeah. That'll sort you out, have a bicky. Gonna get through some of these and then it's my turn to race. So I'm gonna pass you over to the camera lady. <laughs> Wow, what can I say? What a weekend of racing. The standard, the speed those guys ride at is inspiring. Like, they are just on another level. It is full, full gas. It's ridiculous. And But for me, it was a massive learning curve. I, one, didn't have much confidence, and two, was scared like a little boy when he, we were going down the start straight. I've never been going that fast in my life. But it was just a massive learning curve and I'm going to take that forward into the future races. But they're just so fast and it really is inspiring. But like I said to the Rocket, they didn't have to get up this morning and go to work, uh, get up at 6am. So they're probably recovered today. So there's my excuse. <laughs> but I am in the bad books because my illness has been passed on to the Rocket who is next to me under a heated blanket on the sofa. This is her current setup that she's had all day. Biscuits. What's that? Herbal tea? She is not in a good way. Think how I felt, Rocket. But the race video will be out next. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog style video of the day. It was absolutely wicked. The course was mega. The riders were inspiring and I am seriously motivated to get back after it. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.